Hey, what's up? I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create this killer intro. We laugh, we joke, we sing What a beautiful day Not a cloud in our sight It's such an adventure Alright, so that looks really, really cool. We're going to see how to create this in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really simple to create and apart from that, I'm also going to be talking about the time responsive update that came in the new version of Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. If you're looking for other introductions or other kind of templates, definitely check out our website. We have a bunch to offer and for those that do want to know how this is created, let's get started. If you enjoy my videos be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to make sure that you get notified when I upload new videos. Alright here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and let's take a look on how to create this epic title and how to work with the responsive time which actually enables you to freeze animations and if you make your text for example longer and it includes an animation uh, it's actually going to stick to the beginning and to the ending of your video. If you don't understand anything what I'm saying right now, just follow the tutorial, it's going to explain itself. It's really simple, it's really awesome. Let's take a look on how to create that awesome title that you just saw. And yeah, so without further ado, I have a video right here that I will be using as a background layer. So this is actually for a tutorial, uh, for example. So the, what I will do is actually create a new adjustment layer and click OK. We'll drag that adjustment layer on top of my video right here and just make it as long as you want it to be. Then let's go to the beginning of our video and let's start adjusting this. So what I want to do is maybe lower the exposure a little bit like this. And you can also go and include some color if you want to. And also what I want to do is add an effect. Uh, so go to effects and search for blur. We're going to add the Gaussian blur right here. So apply the Gaussian blur to your adjustment layer. Scroll down right here in the effects controls and we want to set that to 50. Also make sure that you repeat the edge pixels, that way you're going to uh, get rid of the, um, yeah, the edges right here. And now we're ready to start animating. So what I will do is zoom in a little bit on my timeline right here. And right at like two seconds, as you can see right here, I'm going to set a keyframe for all these values that I just changed. So in the Illumetri Colors basic color correction, uh, we have the tint, so click on the stopwatch right here and the stopwatch for the exposure right here. So now we have these keyframes and also if we scroll down, make sure that you click on the stopwatch for the blurriness of the Gaussian blur. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the beginning here and change these values back to what they were. You can also click on this icon to reset the values. That's not going to take away the, um, the keyframes, so that's perfect. So if we're going to take a look, we're going to have an animation which is going to make our video a little bit darker, uh, blurry, and give it a different color tone. This is going to be easier if you're going to be adding text on top of this to be able to read it. Okay, so once you have done that, go to your text tool and enter something. Once you have your text, let's go to the effect control tab and right here, you will be able to change your font. I like to use the font Lado and change it to a bold. You can actually download this online. It's one of my favorite fonts and I'm actually giving you my secret font. No, it's actually free, so it's not a secret. Okay, so I'm going to center this out and also the spacing. I like to add like 500 spacing in between my text. It's going to make it look a little bit more modern. Uh, it's just going to look a little bit cleaner, fresh. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. I just enjoy using this uh, kind of style. Uh, so you do whatever you want and whatever floats your boat. Once you have done that, we can go to the Essential Graphics tab right here. If you don't see that, go to Window, Essential Graphics right here. Click on that text and we're going to head over to Align and Transform. Right here you will see these two icons. If we're going to click on these, it's going to center our text perfectly. Okay, so once you've done that, we can head over uh, to the Effects Control again. I'm just going to make this a little bit longer uh, so I can actually see the timeline uh, right here in the effects controls. 
Okay, so go to the motion of your text, make sure you have your text layer selected. We can actually make this as long as we want it to be. So uh, we start at zero seconds, make it as long as five seconds right here, uh, or even let's say seven seconds. So we have a second seconds uh, text showing on our screen right now. Maybe make it a little bit bigger in the effect controls right here next to the bold. We can actually make it a little bit bigger, just like that. Once you've done that, we can go to the beginning um, and actually, well, uh, go to two seconds right here in the timeline. You can see it right here. And we're going to click on the stopwatch for the position, which is going to add a keyframe in our timeline at two seconds. Go back to the beginning of your timeline and now just drag this number up right here drag it up and that's going to bring our text down off screen like so. So now we have an animation going on like this. Okay, cool. So pretty boring at the moment, but let's go to five seconds right here and uh, just make sure that you're exactly at five seconds and create another keyframe. We can do that by clicking on this add or remove keyframe right here. Then go to the end of your video, well to the end of your text and now we're going to drag this number down, which is going to bring our text up. So now we have uh, an animation of the text coming up and then it's going away like that. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm going to select all my key uh, frames here. So I'm going to try and do that like this. Hold shift to select that last one. Right click and go to temporal interpolation and change it to Bezier. This is going to make sure that everything is going smooth. So if we're going to open up the uh, position keyframes right here by clicking on this arrow we're going to open up the graph editor this is what you will see let's click away and click on one individually and just you will see these two nodes that you can manipulate so we can drag this in for example and drag it down all the way down and drag this one all the way to the left so now we have a ramp just like that for the other one we want to do the same thing drag it down and drag it all the way like that and this one to the right so now we will have something like this. And of course, we need to make sure that these are also done right here. And maybe we can make this a little bit longer, just a little bit. So it doesn't come in that abrupt. Okay, let's try it again. Make it a little bit shorter. Okay, this is a little bit smoother. Perfect. Okay, so this is what I wanted to... Um, finally get so it's coming in very smooth and it's taking off very smooth it's like some kind of um, rubber band or something so pretty cool we have our first text now what we want to do is make sure that if we want to make our text longer or shorter that we keep our animation meaning that it's going to keep going up and down because if you're going to make it longer as you can see the keyframes are going to stay in the exactly same place so I'm going to undo that and now in the latest update of Premiere, what you will see is these two blue kind of things uh, right here in the corner. And if you hover over them, your cursor is going to change. So you can actually drag this until every keyframe is covered like this. Perfect. So now we actually froze the animation. And now if we're going to make it longer, you're going to see that this is also going to move along with it if we make it shorter. It's also going to move it along with it. So now we have the animation part frozen, the intro and the outro. So that's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to click on my text, hold alt and drag it on top right here. And now the fun part is we already made our animation uh, and already froze like our posi position. So I don't want to position it anymore, but I want my other text to be like the top text and the other one to be the bottom text but I don't want to use my position for that. So how I will do that is go to my essential graphics right here, click on the text, and now you will see all these values that you can change. And right here you have the position, but this is a fixed position. So the second text should be our subtitle. So we're going to drag it down a little bit, but not all the way, click on the other one, click over here and bring this one up. So it's actually centered together. Okay, so go back to that second one, click on the text itself and change the font uh, maybe to a light instead of a bold and also make it a little bit smaller and maybe increase the spacing in between to a thousand and maybe change the text.
And there we have it. We can make it a little bit smaller. Subscribe for more, which is what you should do if you enjoy watching this video, by the way. Um, maybe the spacing is a little bit too much, so maybe let's change it to 750. Okay, there we go. And we can also go to our other title and maybe make it a little bit bigger. So it actually lines out perfectly like this. Okay, so we have a cool title, uh, pretty nice. And now what I want to do is um, make a rectangle next to it. So you can actually see they're actually coming in really nicely. Uh, what I want to do is click on the last one. And here I want to add a rectangle. So right here, if you hold it, rectangle tool, we can drag a rectangle just like this okay go to the rectangle right here clicking on that in the essential graphics and also align this in the center we can see that it's not perfectly uh, in place so we can position this a little bit more up so it's centered visually okay and now right here we can change the stroke color I actually selected stroke you can uh, probably you will see something like this just uncheck the appearance right here and enable stroke and set it at seven and there we have it okay so we have a nice stroke around our title to finish it off what we want to do is also animate that so we want to animate that coming on and off so scrolling down here in the effects controls we will see our shape go to the opacity click on the opacity also drag it in this uh, frozen frame and set it at zero at the beginning fading into 100 and then right here, click and create a new keyframe for 100 and at the end, change it to zero again. So now it's actually going to fade off like this. Perfect. Okay, one more thing that I want to do is zoom in a little bit. We're going to offset the top layer a little bit, like three frames. I'm doing this with the arrows on my keyboard, right? And by the way, so uh, going left and right so one two three and then we offset this layer and now it's going to have like a delay effect like this i'm also going to fade in my rectangle a little bit later and there we go and now also select these keyframes right click bezier and we're also going to open up our opacity scroll down and this is actually something that we're always always doing basically so just make these things a little bit longer and there we go I wish there was a setting so it already had this like extreme mode uh, so you didn't have to jump in here because it's still not perfect and the way we use graph editor in Premiere I really love the way how the graph editor works in Adobe After Effects but in Premiere they still have a little bit of work to do um, but okay it looks great I think we accomplished having a great title um, maybe we want to offset these titles well uh, the fade off a little bit later like right here okay but yeah apart from that looks great in my opinion Alright, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and definitely subscribe to the channel for more and also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for filmmakers, for video editors and it helps to support the channel. So definitely check out the links in the description and then I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.